Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the lectures on computer vision. In the last lectures in convolution neural network, we actually built our own model and we trained our model for 30 epochs as well. However, the accuracy and the loss that we were getting in convolution neural network is not what we expect from a neural network model. Hence, we can say that our model was not performing way up to the mark. Uh, therefore, like we have certain methods which are known as callbacks uh, which does certain actions for you so we'll be having a look at callbacks uh, in this lecture and in the subsequent lectures we will have uh, like look on how to increase the accuracy of our CNN model so that it performs good uh, we'll be also discussing the concept of transfer learning in the subsequent lectures but our agenda in today's lecture is to actually discuss about the concepts of callbacks so if i were to tell you the definition of callbacks callbacks are nothing but like they perform certain actions for you there are different kinds of callbacks and they all perform different actions i will tell you what they do but uh, before that let me fire up my google collab and let you know what the current status is so when we have trained this model you see like our uh validation accuracy here was like somewhere increasing somewhere decreasing increasing decreasing in the uh like uh, in the validation set right and but in the training set the accuracy was going all fine like it was increasing at as it should be same is the case for loss as well loss is increasing decreasing increasing decreasing in case of like validation loss right so we want the loss to decrease anyhow so what we'll be doing is that i will be actually using callback method like uh, callback functions to actually call certain methods which will do certain actions for you so the very first method that we'll be having a look is known as model checkpoint so what model checkpoint will do is it will save you the model weight with the best validation accuracy i mean as as soon as your validation accuracy improves validation accuracy improves it will save that model file for you so you can actually check okay like this is my saved model file and this is at this epoch that i have got this accuracy and i can actually use these weights like model weights at this particular epoch to actually train my like to actually test the images in my model right so it will be more clear once we actually do a practical example so let me go back over here and do something like this what i'll be doing is i will be importing like uh, the required libraries that is from callback callbacks import and the name of our uh, like uh, function is model checkpoint and i will run this piece of code for you so once this is run what I'll be doing now is I will be giving a file path or a path basically where I could actually store my model point uh, like model weights. So path is equals to, uh, let's say I'm storing this as content, content, C-O-N-T-E-N-T -E -E content, then tomato and then saved model weights. Here I'll be giving like in which epoch actually I got the model weight and then like what the validation accuracy is. So val underscore accuracy and it should be like let's say point two f and then dot hd f5 so this is where like i will be saving my uh, model weights so let's say i have saved my model weights in like slash content tomato slash saved model weights then it will tell me okay this is the epoch where i am getting the maximum like i am getting a good validation accuracy like increase in the validation accuracy basically and then i will be storing okay validation accuracy is this much and then dot hdf5 in which we basically save our model so i will go and run this piece of code for you and now what we'll be looking at is we'll be creating like uh, an object from this class so let's say checkpoint let's say uh, check only check p let's say is equals to model checkpoint and then what i'll be looking forward to is like i will give the path like where i will i need to store in the like model weights and then i'll be giving monitor we will be monitoring the validation accuracy right so val underscore accuracy we val underscore accuracy and then i have another parameter which is known as uh, save only best i mean save best only which is true and then i will pass in the parameter of verbose which is one and then the last parameter is mode which is basically max so i hope you understand like what 
right as like uh what we are actually doing over here so we are using the model checkpoint we are giving the path we are saying okay let's monitor the validation accuracy and only save the best like when it actually improves then verbose equals to one and then mode is equals to max right like because we are looking at validation accuracy which basically should be maximum so i will go ahead and run this piece of code for you so it will save all of the model weights for me as soon as the like validation accuracy improves and then i need to create uh it's basically the check p is equal to i will just use this over here like check p so i will go ahead and like run the piece of code for you and then i will call in the model and in the model like what i will be doing is uh over here i will be calling callbacks like callbacks is one of the parameters that is available to us in uh, fit generator so in callbacks i'll be using check p check p and then like let's say uh verbose is still equals to one so i will go ahead and run this piece of code for you and like because we are actually using for 30 epochs and it will only save the weights when actually validation accuracy increase so it will be a long time before we can see the final result so after like two or three like after two epochs i will stop the code for you and then i will like stop the lecture for you actually and then i will meet you in the next lecture and then i will like let you know like what we're actually getting as the final result and what weights we are actually getting so okay let, let us run this without wasting much of our time uh it will basically take 20 seconds for one epoch to get completed not bad keeping in mind the size of our data set but anyhow let us just let it complete over here and uh, let us see like how it performs so at the end of the very first epoch we have a uh let's say accuracy of okay i've got an error over here and error is okay it tells me i have okay actually it should be I have given something wrong over here. Let me see. Epox is equals to 0 to D. Okay. It's telling me that uh, fail to format this callback. File path. Okay. Epoch today validation accuracy 0.2F. And uh, basically it tells me like I have an error somewhere. And like I have an error in the path. And I have to check where that error particularly is. So. I guess the error should be over here like epochs epochs is all epochs is the one that we actually supply let me just check yes epochs spelling is right and then validation accuracy and uh, i will just go back over here and see uh, instead of epochs it will be actually epoch and not epochs so it will be epoch and then it should be 0 to d here basically and then now this will actually run for you so this was the error so when you are saving like at a particular epoch you have to use epochs and not epoch now basically like let us run this all over again and see like what actually happens so something like this and this and now basically it should work and let's see if like how like our model actually performs so it tells the validation accuracy increase from this and it's saving the model weight and it will save the model weight as soon as we get a better validation accuracy like every time we beat our previous maximum it will actually save uh, save the model weight and so let's see how does it actually happen and uh, it will tell me okay validation accuracy again improved from 32 to 49 so we are again saving the model weight that is a good thing over here and then what will happen is that slowly slowly like like when we are actually decreasing like when the validation accuracy is actually decreasing and then increasing so it will save the better model weights for you so let us get some more hints so it tells me again okay validation accuracy improved from 49 to 71 so let us just save the model weights for us and basically now it's actually increasing at this point in time so it's saving every time but there would be a time when like validation accuracy would actually fall and it won't save your like fight right so again it improved from 71 to 83.4 which is not i actually expected but anyhow like uh, i can see that the accuracy will actually fall at a certain point in sixth epoch and then maybe at 10th epoch as well so let's see how does it happens so yeah now you see validation in accuracy did not improve and hence it did not store the uh, model weight for me so at every point in time as soon as the validation accuracy improves it will actually store in the model weight for you and this is how you actually call in the uh, model checkpoint function 
So I hope this concept is now clear to you. So I will see you in the next one when we actually have completed the training and we have all of the model weights saved and we can use the best file as per our convenience. So see you in the next one. Thank you.